All right, class, welcome back for the final section of this series, part three. If you are watching this, that means that you have watched the other parts of the video. If not, then you need to go back and watch those parts of the video. This is part three. This is where we end it, where we talk about rule six and rule seven. Let's get it. Okay, in this video, all we're gonna need is a few markers. That's all you're gonna need. All right, let's get started. Go ahead and flip to rule six. So rule six, quotient to a power. To raise a quotient to a power, raise the numerator and the denominator to the power. Okay, so this is like a double exponent rule, right? So it's like two rules put together. So you have your quotient rule, which is like bases, and then you subtract. And then you have your power to a power rule where you, if you see a parenthesis, you multiply. So you have so the uh, fraction slash quotient. And if they, if the base is the same subtract the powers multiply the powers. Copy that. All right, so let's take two examples here. I'll give you a second to copy these before I start. Messed up right here, so I had to make that a B. <laughs> but notice these have the same base. And these have different bases, so I want to give you one of each. All right, so let's look at example number one. And remember, we start inside, right? So if the base is the same, we want to finish up what's in here before we go outside. So we're going to, with the, with the same base, we go ahead and subtract these. So that'll be uh, 5 to the second power and then 5 to the first power. So we go ahead and then we subtract the exponents. So that'd be two minus one, and that gives us five to the first power. And then we just bring over the three, like that, okay? And then we, with the parentheses, we multiply the power. So one times three, that gives us five to the power of three or five cubed. When you get to high school, you're gonna hear five cubed. That is five cube. Okay. And the next one does not have the same base, right? So you would move from step one, go ahead and step two. So you just go to the parentheses since they don't have the same base. Don't do not try to combine these because this is an A and this is a B. So you cannot combine them. OK, so you go ahead and just move to the second part, which is multiply the power. So you go two times five. That gives you a to the 10. To the 10th power and then four times five, that gives you B to the power of 20. OK, and then that will be your answer There's nothing else that you can do right there. That is simplified. All right, class, so we have made it to the final rule, rule number seven, product to a power, and it is to raise each factor to the power. As you can see in the example that was provided in the notes, A and B are raised to the power of M. So that means that the base A gets an M power and the base B gets an M power. 
And that's how you simplify when you just have variables. If you have numbers, you work the same way, but then you can go ahead and finish it if you would like. So the base of two gets a power of two. The base of three gets a power of two. And then you can simplify this by multiplying two times two and then three times three and then multiplying them together. So that's what we're going to work on right now. So let's let's uh, write our rule. Apply. The. Outside. Outside power. to each base inside the parentheses. All right, go ahead and copy that and let's do some examples and we'll be done here. All right, let's go ahead and work through these examples. I'll give you a chance to copy these down. So go ahead and pause the video right now and copy and try them out before you press play again. See if you can get it. All right, let's work through these together. All right, so we're gonna apply what he said, apply the outside power to each base inside. So we're gonna apply this, this outside power to the five, and we're going to apply it to this N, right? So if it has a power already, you know, when you see parentheses, I mean, you multiply, right? So we're not going to forget about that. So we will take that and we have M and then that will be five times three, five times three. That gives you 15. And the N does not have a, a, a power, but it does have a power. It has a power of one. Every whole number has a power of one. Remember that. So you would apply to that. So one times three, and then that's just three. Okay, how did you do on that one? Did you get it right? Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna apply the two to the seven and apply it to the two. We see the parentheses, we need to multiply. So that's five to the 14th power. And then three to the fourth power. And we could take it further with a calculator, but as long as we can get this part, okay? And that'll be five, five, five times five times five times five, 14 times, and that'd be three times three times three times three, you know, four times. And we could continue to work that out, but we'll just leave it right there for today, okay? So um, the next part, uh, would be I left off my my exponent. I'm just trying to finish so fast. Let's put a five on that. Okay, so we're gonna apply just like you said, apply the outside power to each base. So we're gonna apply this five to that three, and apply this five to that p to the second power. So that'd be three to the power of five, and then p to the power of what? 10. All right. And that is all of the rules of exponents, right? I hope this video was very informative and you were able to understand somewhat. We will be going over this more in class. So if you have any questions, you can send them to me now or you can wait till we go over it in class. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you need to go back and watch it, go back, go back and watch the other videos, uh, share them, uh, like it if you like it um, and just give me some feedback on these videos. I thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. So your final step is to take your graphic organizer complete with everything and put it on a empty page probably the next page after the triangles glue it in
and then put rules of exponents. Voila.